and Mel Gibson nominated for directing Hacksaw Ridge, all arriving here at the Dolby Theater. Congratulations on the Bob too. Thank you. Thank you. How is he? He's, He's good. Great. He's got a little tux He's on. He's got a tux on. <laughs> I gotta show you this picture. It's killer. It's Lars is wearing a tux. Lars is wearing a tux. Oh my god. <laughs> he is way too cute. You're the only one I'll show that to. To know you made this movie and now it is nominated. And really, this has gotta be big to be back here on the red carpet. Well, the nomination is the win, you know. I'm happy to be here. It'll be a fun night. I hope Kimmel's funny so I don't go to sleep. And if they call my name, I'll be surprised, but whoever they call, I'll know that I'm in good company with these other directors and films and stuff. So I'm pretty happy about that. What did it feel like to get that nomination? Oh, it's great. That's all. You know, it's like, it's your peers recognizing that you, you know, maybe did something worthwhile. And, uh, maybe worthwhile. Yeah, that's good. That's very modest. How is baby, how's baby Lars? He's great. Yeah, he's wearing a tux tonight. Is it? He is. He's five weeks old in a tux. It's celebration of daddy. Mel, yeah. are you doing Suicide Squad? I don't know. I just met some guys about story points. It's not It's not a done deal or anything, but it's just fun to shoot the bull, you know, when it comes to stories. I love doing it. And if, we, if we can elevate any kind of concept, it's good. So you're ready. If, if, if it happens, you're yeah, ready. Yeah, we'll see. we, we got to wrap you up, but since, okay. you, since you do have a lot of kids, you got any advice for Clooney? Uh, any advice for who? Clooney, George Clooney, with his oh, twins coming. Oh, they're multiples, aren't they? Yeah, they yeah. are. I, you know, he's, he, he may lose some sleep. But, uh, he'll be good. He'll dig it. He's, he's a person, people. Stephen, good. How Steven, are you? Hey, good, mate. We're live in Germany at hey. the moment. Oh, wow. In Germany. Scott, how are you? First of all, congratulations to being nominated. Second of all, congratulations on your ninth kid. On my ninth child. It's exciting. Hello. How are you? Good? She just, she just, you know, had a child five weeks ago. Look at her. Yeah, you look, you look amazing. You look good, and you, you, you are excited about tonight. What? Let, let's talk about Desmond Doss and the story. When you found it, um, what was the message of that movie for you that you wanted to bring to the people who go to the movie theater? Well, it's a love story. It's somebody who transcended the horror of war and the conflict of war and through love went and saved his brothers and did the most heroic thing you could possibly do, lay down his life for another guy. So, there you go. You know, talking about family, talking about kids, two of your sons were part of the movie. Yeah, uh, how did that feel as a dad, you know, telling them what to do in between, or did they tell dad what to do? Oh, no. Well, you know, they asked for advice, but I'm pretty cool, and I'll just let them run. I always did. They don't listen to me anyway. Wow, what's this? Okay, everyone is excited about you, Mel. Thank you so much. Have a great time. Enjoy tonight. And uh, keep on making great movies. Thank you so much. Thanks, buddy.
Thank you, Mel. Thanks to see you. Also, Dominic is in. And Rosalind Ross, and I gotta say, first of all, congratulations on the baby. Yeah. Thank you so much. What a recovery. Yeah, baby number nine. Number nine. I was there. I watched. She, she was like a. She was like a professional. I don't know. How do they know how to do this? I don't know. I don't know. I. I you know, like you and I. I think we have stretch marks. I do. Yes, I do. But one thing that you've done, man, and, I, and a lot of people, a lot of people calling this your comeback, and I know you're, you're sick of hearing that, I'm pretty sure. So how would you characterize your return to the Oscar red carpet this year? Well, I think, you know, uh, it, to me, it's very flattering. I, I, it's my peers recognizing a piece of work and saying, hey, that's worthy of nomination. As far as I'm concerned, the nomination is the win, you know. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'll clap for whoever gets it, but, you know. It might be you. Well, I, you know, I don't think so. Not this year, but... I'm happy to be here. Well, you told a compelling story. Desmond Doss, a conscientious ob ob objector, saved 75 lives without ever touching a gun in Okinawa. What made you want to tell this story? Oh, it's the pinnacle of heroism as far as I could see. It's someone who will not take another life, and he doesn't go in there because he's tough. Or be, but he's tough, all right, but he doesn't go in there to kill. He goes in there to save lives. So, so it's a love story, and it's heroic. And risking your own life for another, that's the greatest act of heroism there is. And Andrew Garfield's up for Best Actor nomination, so you got to be proud of him. I am. You just say action and back away with that guy. He comes tooled up. He's good. All right, thank you for stopping by. You look magnificent, honestly. I, you're beautiful. You look fantastic. Thank you. How old is Lars now? Five weeks. Five weeks, wow. Look at that. He is five weeks. Is yeah. Five weeks. And look at her. She looks fantastic. So She's amazing. Saying. I'm the only one with stretch marks. Yeah, please. <laughs> you got her right there. Great to see you. And you. I'm so glad. I, I, I told him that his uh, Hacksaw that was my favorite. Uh, my, my, yeah. <laughs> we both had such an awesome film. Did to get recognized, sir. So, uh, so, so happy for you. Vince told me he's working with you on another movie, correct? We are. We're going to do something later on. It's pretty gritty. Oh, nice. That's, That's all like you can a, tell me. It's like a Sam Peckinpah movie. It's it's cool. Oh, very cool. Are you going to act in it as well, or just direct? No, no, I'm not directing. Oh, you're not directing? No, nah, somebody called Craig Zoller is doing that. But it's it, I'll just get in it and spit out the jokes. You yeah. Know. Is it is it? Uh, do you find yourself sometimes when you're in a particular scene, like you know it can be a better way, and you have to restrain yourself from maybe making suggestions? Or how do you approach that? Well, not really. I'm, I think it's a collaborative effort with whoever you work with, and if you got an idea and you and you toss it past the guy, and I'm not I'm not shy, he'll say that's a good idea, or he'll tell you it sucks, and he'll tell you why. Either way, you'll come out with a solution, so that's okay. I'd be paying attention if I was him. Yeah. Sounds good.